Do you want to be able to launch apps in less than a second? Keep watching. Hello everyone, this is Robert here with a Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. You uh, might be wanting to launch your apps uh, much faster without having to go into your folders or anything. Well, I got the perfect app for you guys. This one's called Launcher. can do more than just apps though. I want you guys to know that. You, I use it primarily for my apps, but you can use it for phone calls, messages, and so forth. So right here you can see, you can reduce the icons, you can add more into there. Uh, the beauty about this one though, is they've just added a 3D Touch, so it makes it a lot quicker to do. So you can see here how to set it up, what to do, and what it looks like. Alright, gives you a big description in here, showing you more about it. Down here on the bottom, you can see that they've uh, added the 3D Touch Peak. And then there's an um, in-app purchase here for a Pro version. Um, and like I said, the prices kind of vary depending on where you're at. But I mean, overall, it's, it's an excellent app. So, let's go ahead and go into it. First thing I want to show you guys is it does have 3D Touch enabled. So if I hold the icon, you can see that it's got the applications that I want to open with 3D Touch. So you can set this up however you want. We're going to get into the app first. First thing you see here is you see the home page. And this is all the apps I've set up. Now you see there's a row on the third one with apps that have that little blue circle right there on the corner. Those are the ones that I've designated as the ones to open up with 3D Touch. You can uh, change wherever you want but you can only have about four of them. That's the only downside. So right here you can see all the apps. If I press any one of these icons here, I can launch that app directly from here. So that, that's the beauty about that one. If I pull down my notification center, you can see I have the same list. So here's the list, here's notification center. There's my list. Okay? So then that way it shows you the exact same list you can do from either from the app itself or from your notification center. It's your choice how you want to do it. So we're going to settings. You can see here you can restore your purchases if you've purchased before. You can hide the labels. You can uh, make the size bigger or smaller depending on how many apps you need. You have power user settings. You've got music launcher settings in case you want to use it for mu music. You can rate them, share it, like it, feedback and so forth. Okay now if we go to the top right corner there's a little pencil inside a square that's going to give you the edit button. That's going to allow you to delete these or move them. You move them just like you would an iOS app, which actually you can peek and pop if you want. And if you peek and pop, then you can slide it up and it gives you more details on the bottom, what you want to do. Okay? But if I lightly hold it, you'll notice that I can actually move it. So just like I would an iOS app. It's exactly the same. Okay, tap the check mark, get you out of there. All right. Now I have this whole thing full, so I cannot add anything else to it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to edit here, and I'm going to take out this one since I have too many. All right. You notice how I got a little plus on the bottom now. So now if I hit that little plus, it's going to give me this screen. I can add either a contact launcher, I can do special launchers, a web launcher apps, music, or customize. If I tap that little question mark, you're going to get the info button. This is used for phone, messages, directions, and so forth. If I do special, this one includes magic launchers, which update dramatically with mega meta launchers and so forth. And then you have all kinds of things. If you want to do web, you can launch quick web pages. So we're going to go into app launcher, because that's what this video is about. Right here, you're going to get the system launchables. So these are the ones that are included with the phone. But if I scroll down here to the bottom, you have the built-in launches. And then you have all the ones you've installed. So all the apps you've ever installed or you currently have on your device, these can all be created as launchers. And you can launch them easily. So we're going to go down here and look through the whole list. You can tell it's a long list. There are a lot of apps. Some of the apps in here, they um, might not actually 
uh, show up and some actually will. It depends on if they're capable of doing it or not. Okay, and then you have on the very bottom all launchable apps. This gives you everything. So you can look on this list and see which ones are available, install that app, and you can use it for launcher. And so this gives you the entire list. This goes through the entire app store and you can look up all the apps you want. So like here's Airport Utility, the one I just deleted. So if I tap on it here, you can make it a quick home screen action if you want, or I can tap the plus and that little check mark in the square on the top right. Tap that, okay, and then uh, it'll simply add it to my list. I want to move it to where I had it before. You can just slide it across. So I'll grab it here, slide it back where I had it, hit the plus, and there you go. And that's pretty much it. So you can tap any one of these, launch the apps immediately, and it saves you a whole lot of time. If you got those apps in folders, you can't find them, they're in separate pages. This one really, really, really helps. I really like this app. I really enjoy using it. In fact, I, I like this one better than a couple of the other launcher apps that are available on the App Store. This one seems to be one of my preferred ones. Okay, I use it for apps. Like I said, you can customize it whatever you want. You want to use it for contacts, web pages, and so forth. It gives you a lot of flexibility there. All right. So I want to thank you guys for watching this. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, I'd love for you guys to subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll get all my videos as they come out. And don't forget, go to my Patreon page for one dollar less than the price of a piece of candy. Um, you can get all my one-on-one -on -one tutorial helps and all my videos before they get published on YouTube. Okay, I thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later with more.